What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchpotentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So sometimes I like to come back and focus on some fundamental things, um, things that I think a lot of people know are there, but also um, things that people don't necessarily know are there. So in this case today I wanted to make a video about working with arrays and multiple copies using the move tool inside of SketchUp. So if you're looking for more great SketchUp tips, make sure to check out my best tips for SketchUp guide at the SketchUp essentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what I wanted to do in this situation is I just wanted to talk a little bit about the ability to create copies with the move tool inside of SketchUp. So I think a lot of people know that that's there, but a lot of people don't as well. So a lot of the time what people do when they want to create copies of different things inside of SketchUp is they select things and then they do a control C or they go up to edit copy and then they do a edit paste or a control V and then they click in order to place something and that's definitely a valid way to create copies of something inside of SketchUp however there's a much easier better way to do that that gives you more control and we'll go ahead and let's create something interesting like maybe a railroad bridge or something like that that's probably a good example so what I want to do is let's say that uh, we've got a number of different railroad bridge um, wood supports and we'll go ahead and call these 12 by 12s they're probably more like 12 by 6s or something like that so maybe I'll move this up um, about six inches but let's say that we had a shape kind of like this one and we'll say it's eight feet long and we wanted to make a bunch of copies of this object um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group this just so I don't have to worry about accidentally not picking up all of the geometry now let's say that you wanted to create copies of this object and let's say you wanted those copies to be every we'll call it every 24 inches or something like that so right now if you were to try to do this using just the copy copy paste method you'd probably have to do something like creating like a 20 foot long line and then dividing that into however many segments at 24 inches each or something like that and it just gets uh, really kind of frustrating because you have to do a control C control V and you just place this over and over again it doesn't really go where you want it to go well what we can do instead is we can use the move tool in copy mode in order to do this without all of that fuss so the way that we can do that is you take an object like this one and there we go and what you do is you use the move tool. Well, the move tool has a function built in where you can actually create copies. So the way that works is you select an object, activate the move tool by tapping the M key, and then you click on a corner. Well, you can see how right now all that's doing is that's moving your object just like this. Well, the problem with that is it's not a copy. Well, you can create copies or turn on copy mode by tapping the control key. So you can see how when I tap the control key, I get this little uh, this little cross next to my move tool or the little plus button that indicates that this is in copy mode. So now I can click wherever I want and I can drop that copy wherever I want that to be. And you can do that as many times as you want. So if you wanted to create like trees or something like that, you can see how like placing things randomly using the move tool in copy mode is really easy. So I can create as many copies here as I want to. Um, but let's say that we wanted to create copies of an object at a certain spacing. Well, what this can do is this can actually allow us to create copies very precisely. So we do the same thing. We just uh, tap the M key, click on this corner, and tap control. Well, instead of just clicking, in this case, what we can do is we can type in a value. So let's say in this case, I want this to be 24 inches from my base point or the point that I clicked on. I would just type in a value of 24 and hit the enter key. So what that did is that created a single copy 24 inches from my base point. Um, but we can also do a lot more with this. So you're going to notice that as of right now, I haven't clicked anywhere else in my model. So this tool is still active. You can tell because down here below, this actually still has the instructions for the tool in here. Well, what I can do is I can type in a times using the star key and a number of copies. So in this case, if I was to type in a value of two, and hit the enter key, that's going to create two copies at that spacing that I set when I click my base point. Well, I can adjust the number of copies as long as I don't click anywhere else in my model. So I could type in like times 24. This would create 24 copies. And note that if you have a three button mouse, you can click and hold the um, 
you can click and hold the center mouse button and this tool stays active. And so I can adjust the number of copies in here by typing in a new value and hitting the enter key. So I can create as many copies of this as I want to. So I could type in times 100, times 50, whatever that value is, and you can see how this is adjusting based on the number that I type in. So you can use this to create copies at that set spacing just by doing this. And so in this case, let's say that I wanted to create, well, say 50 copies and I'll go ahead and hit the enter key. So what that did is that created 50 copies um, at 24 inches on center. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into my 3D warehouse and I'm going to bring in a railroad track just so I don't have to model out that profile myself. So I'll go with this single railroad track rail by Paul R. I'm just going to bring that into my model. We'll just drop it in here and I'm going to drop it based on the midpoint. And then I'll create a copy moving this direction using the move tool. So let's say I wanted this to be two feet this way. And then I would take this other one and I would just move it two feet the other way. So that gives me kind of my railroad track in here. And then I can just double click in here and just extrude that profile. And you'll note since these are components, when I edit one, the other one changes as well. But let's say with this railroad track that we wanted to come in here and we wanted to create like a little flange holding the track on here. Well, we would do the same thing where we would just kind of model this out. And I might draw a line across this face. And then let's say we took this whole thing, we made it a group just like this. Looks like I've got a little extra line in here that we'll erase out. But we could do the same thing here where I could just take this and I could just use the move tool in copy mode. So I could uh, select this object, tap the M key, and then I'm actually gonna use the midpoint of this rail. Um, and I'm gonna make a copy. So I'm just going to tap the M key, click on this point right here, and I'm gonna tap control. And then I'm just gonna move over here and I'm gonna click on this midpoint. Well, you can see how what that does is that creates a copy of this uh, piece right here um, at that spacing. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in a value of times 50. Whoops. And we'll probably make this a component just for simplicity's sake. But we'll use the move tool in copy mode right here to create this copy. I'll type in times 50 and hit the enter key. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these, use the move tool in copy mode and make a copy over here. And then we'll just um, select all those. Right click and we will flip along the red axis. And then we'll just move these back. just like this. And then we can do that one more time. Just by using the move tool and copy mode over here. So you can see how adding things like this gets really easy once you have an idea of the way that the move tool and copy mode works. And so one other thing I want to talk about is not only can this um, do this by multiplying, it can also do this by dividing. So let's say for example that next to this railroad track we wanted some kind of a handrail or something like that. Well what we could do is let's say we just created a simple handrail piece that's just like two by two or something like that and we extruded that up and we'll go ahead and we'll make that a component and we'll just call this rail picket Well, not only can you use this to make copies in a multiplying fashion, you can also use this to create evenly spaced copies between two points. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to make a number of copies between this point and this point. All you would have to do is just activate the move tool and activate copy mode like we did before. So tap the M key, tap the control key and click on this corner. And I'm just gonna inference down on the green axis until I'm level with this last piece right here, well, all you would have to do is remember how before we typed in times 
and a value? Well, in this case, we can type in divided by and a value. So if I type in divided by 10 and I hit the enter key, what that's going to do is that's going to create 10 evenly spaced copies between this point and this point. And this is active in the same way that the other tool is active. So I can type in divided by 12, divided by 15, divided by 20. I can really make as many copies here as I want to, but you can use the array function um, inside of SketchUp in order to create those copies without having to do it manually, which is a huge time saver. So in this situation, maybe we do divided by 15. And so you can see how using that tool can save you a ton of time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take all of these. I'm just going to put them in a group. And then we could kind of do this however we want to, but maybe for this one, what I would do is I would just uh, activate the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle to this point. And then for this object, maybe go in here and use the chain link fence material or something like that in order to create a chain link fence in here. So you can see how once you get these tools kind of set up and active, it's really easy to create whatever you want inside of SketchUp. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you know about this function? Have you been using it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.